Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bits me tripping. Real quick one for you, and it's around gaming PCs, but ones that you might also use for miners. A lot of people have reached out about the 6800 XT and the 6800s, the standard non-XT versions. Not so much the 6900s, but bottom line, some folks are going to Micro Center and seeing these in stock. And they're like, you know, I want to game with them because right now I can't find any of the, the RTX cards. And would it make sense that I could mine on the side with them. I, obviously people know they're not as efficient, but what are the results? If you were to mine and game, you know, like if you were to game for a couple hours and then overnight, let them run as a miner. So what I've done is I've taken the two 6800 XTs that I have here. Let's slide in here and see. And you can see it's been running for a bit here. And you can see that we, I essentially have four set up here. There's actually three 6,800 cards, two XTs, one non-XT, and then I have a pair of 50 RX 590s running on NiceHash. I've just let them go. These are in my gaming rigs. And you can see here after six days how many Satoshis we've been able to grab, about 447,000 Satoshis. This is on just about six days worth of effort. So we're looking at 220 or $232 worth of Bitcoin. This particular machine right now is showing um, current actual profitability. That's what those four devices Devices. Actually, it's about 30, 33 to thirty-six dollars a day right now with with effectively four of the cards. So you can see that one in there. That is the Red Devil sixty-eight hundred XT. We're running about about sixty-four uh, mega hash right here, and the power on this is not too bad either. Go ahead and open up so you guys can see the power here and the settings I got going here. And here we go. So people that are wondering what settings am I running? I'm just using the AMD tool here and we're seeing right here a 1400 881 millivolts here and then the memory on this performance is the 2150. So that's the settings. I have the, the fan at no more than 65%. It's saying about 160 watts on the meter and we'll do a live stream this weekend on this. We'll get it on the meter again. You guys have seen some videos here. I'll try to parse in um, the actual output in there. It's about 185 watt total system power use right now so not too bad let's slide over to this other machine over here and you can see i have another one of the xts i was able to buy at micro center i got this for about 800 and some change it's kind of high it was supposed to be around 700 but it is what it is right now and you can see this one running at about 63. now this machine here runs oculus rift s the kids use this all the time. This is just what the status is when I'm not actually gaming. So I am using the gaming machine for some mining on some downtime. I've encouraged a lot of people to do this for a while. You're missing out if you're not doing it. And then we got one more here. This is the 6800 non-XT right here running about 62.8. Again, you can see that in this little newer uh, NZXT box. This is the H210i. I'll send some links down to this. Uh, we did this build. I have actually the B-roll for this for you guys to let you see some of this, but this is a really nice build here. Um, nice and tight. It stays pretty cool too also if we look at the temperatures. They're actually really cool. Now this is showing 128 watts. So that's not accurate. This machine full, full tilts about 170 watts with everything going. So bottom line, not too bad. I'll put some numbers down below of the totality of that. Again, that's the three cards and then I have another couple machines in the back that have RX 590s. These are kind of rare cards. They were out before uh, the Radeon 7 came out and just after the RX 580 uh, 8 gig cards they're about 30 mega hash each 31 mega hash each um, and they're they use a little more power so I got two of those in a machine that I had in Crossfire that is was off on the back bench since we've now upgraded most of these machines to the new Horizon setup but I just wanted to give you guys kind of an understanding and idea we'll do a recap here of what the, the amount is, this is just using your gaming machines. If you can get those RX series cards, you know, have it pay forward for some, get some of the value back since all these prices are up right now on these cards. When you're not mining and you have a single card, you can see, and what their output is about 200 and some odd dollars on four of them so if you had four computers or just built a small mining rig that's what you're kind of looking at nice hash you could probably yield a little more right now just mining ethereum directly especially with ethereum going up in price a lot right now but the brokerage prices aren't too bad too so quick one for you guys if you have any questions below again this is not to take any shots at any gamers or anything like that this is to encourage the gamers hey if you have one of these cards and you don't think it's efficient to mine uh, i mean if you already made the investment and you're using it 
it for you know the rasterization it's fast you're not too worried about the rt cores or any of that from the ray tracing stuff and you went out and bought the amd you can still actually make some money with it while you sleep so let me know if this one helped you guys i'll make sure that uh you put any of your comments below and we'll we'll get into it peace